wear this, not that, summer 2022. This video, I'm gonna share with you some little swaps you can make in your wardrobe to maybe feel better, to look better, and because I know that you came to this video for a little bit of spiciness. You don't click on a wear this, not that video without feeling like there needs to be some controversy. Am I right? I have a few items that are just kind of considered out of style. I'm gonna share with you. I'll save those for the end. We're gonna start gentle and we'll get less gentle towards the end where you might not like me anymore. I'm just gonna put it out there for the world to hear. This video is also sponsored by Skillshare, which I will share with you more about them in a moment. Now let's get started. So let's start at a really gentle, gentle, easy little swap that you can make. It's not gonna ruffle any feathers, but instead of wearing polyester this summer, which if you look at your clothing, there's a lot of clothing made with polyester, you might just wanna swap that out for some natural fibers. Even some of the synthetic ones like tinsel or even some rayons, if they're high quality rayons, can be way more breathable than a polyester or acrylic. These are immediately gonna make you feel more comfortable, your skin will be able to breathe better, and it's also a nice summer look. My next tip is to swap out linen if you're one of these people who gets annoyed with linen and how wrinkly it gets and how you always have to steam it and whatever. I kinda like that look because it is the look of linen, but if that's something that bothers you, try to look for clothes Clothing that's a linen blend. Like maybe it's part linen, part viscose. A lot of the shirts that have linen in them, but they're blended with a synthetic fabric, they don't wrinkle very easily. You kind of get the best of both worlds. They don't wrinkle very easily, but, but the clothing lets your skin breathe. So it's summertime and you're probably going to the beach or the pool and you probably are gonna put on a cover up or get a cover up for a vacation you're going on. But instead of a traditional cover-up, which are great, there's nothing wrong with them. Why not try some of the cover-up shorts or cover-up skirts or cover-up pants? These have been a big trend this year and I feel like you can find a lot of them. Of course, I will link some below, but I really love this look and I feel like it's super easy. And what I love about it is if you were to get like a one-piece swimsuit and put the cover-up pants or the cover-up skirt over it, you kind of have like a little bit of an outfit. I like this look. Comment below if you like this look <laughs> or if you're like, no, I'm just gonna wear my traditional cover-up, thanks. So now I wanna tell you more about Skillshare and also about the course I'm taking to learn how to make my plants not die when they are at my house. So I'm the kind of person who likes to learn about new ways to improve my life, like become more organized, to improve my home, or even how to improve my YouTube channel. But I want the information in easy to understand and efficient ways, and that's one of the things I love most about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers hundreds of classes where most are only about an hour or so long and they're broken up into bite-sized sections so you can learn a little bit at the time if that's how you prefer. I'm currently taking the course Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit in Your Space with Christopher Griffin and did you know that your plants can get sunburned? I definitely did not. Some other courses I'm looking forward to taking are How to Be Happier, a Stoicism Masterclass. I'm also looking forward to taking Designing the Life You Want, four exercises for clarity and motivation. So if you'd like to check out any of these classes and hundreds more, the first 1,000 people to use my link will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. I put the link and your code in the description box below. So now we're gonna move into some not controversial, but you might disagree and that's okay. My first suggestion, and I've mentioned this in another video about how to pick out the right swimwear, is instead of buying the full coverage bottoms, bikini bottoms, in hopes to make your butt look smaller and perkier and you feel like the coverage will make it look better, try a more moderate coverage bottom and it's actually a little bit more flattering. Of course, I'm talking about wearing these with a bikini top. If you're wearing it with a tankini, you probably still wanna do full coverage bottom, but the moderate coverage, just showing just a little bit of cheek can actually be more flattering on your booty than the full coverage. Now with all of these suggestions, I hope no one thinks that I'm telling and demanding everyone to wear anything that I mentioned in this video. I mean, it just, you know, you gotta wear what you love and what you feel good in, these are suggestions. So, okay, anyway, let's move on. My next tip is, you know you have those dressy items that are you maybe wear to your office job or you wear to church on Sundays or you wear to your PTA meetings or something. Take those items out and pair them back with something very, very basic. My favorite combination here is to get trouser pants or some kind of like slacks or some kind of nice pant and put it with a super basic tank top. I just love this combination. Add some jewelry and accessories and I feel like you have a really cute look that's summer appropriate. 
I've mentioned in other videos how I really like button up tops with denim shorts. Like I just love the juxtaposition of something nice and structured with something very basic and casual. In all of these outfits, I definitely recommend putting some jewelry on with it. And I just feel like it's a really cool outfit. Let me know if you agree. Some people might be like, oh, that just seems like makes my brain hurt. But for me, it's my jam. I love it. And it's a great way to get more use out of your clothes. This next one is a trend, but it's a trend that I personally, I don't really like on myself. And so I just want to give you a suggestion in case you also don't like it on yourself, but that's those really thick, chunky slides. A, slides slide right off my feet. B, the chunkiness makes my feet look even bigger than they already are. I'm a size 10, sometimes 11, sometimes 11 and a half in a running shoe. I really don't need anything making them look any bigger. I also don't need to be looking like a clown. So if you also fall into that category and this trend is like not for you, the other trend that's happening right now that I love are the really thin strappy, strappy sandals. Toe straps, ankle straps, straps, you know, across cross and sideways and every which way. They're very dainty looking, even if you do put it with a wedge or some kind of platform, but it just looks more dainty and smaller than the big, thick straps on those big, thick platform slides and sandals. Okay, we are out the portion of this video where we're gonna get into a little bit of like, things that are kind of out of style and what to replace them with, if you so choose. The first one, chunky dad sneakers. They're kind of just, it was a fad. I mean, I, I'm going to call it a fad. It wasn't even so much a trend as a fad. And I'm not talking about like regular old trainers that we go work out in and everything. I'm talking about the really thick, obnoxiously chunky dad sneakers. They're just, they're just kind of out of style. I don't really even know if these are ever going to come back, maybe in like 10 years or something. But I mean, it just, it was, it was a weird trend. <laughs> was it not? In any case, you know, it's kind of moved more towards the slim sneakers, more just things that are normal size, <laughs> the normal looking sneakers, or even like a Converse, something that's less gargantuan on the foot. Do you remember when cat eye sunglasses were really big? I'm talking about it like the thin, like that, like little cat eye sunglasses like that. Um, so those are not so much on trend anymore. I mean, if you still love those, they're sunglasses, you know, it's not really that big of a deal, but more so what everybody on Instagram is wearing are the rectangle sunglasses, usually with some kind of thick trim. It's a very specific look. I actually kind of like it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, and then it kind of grew on me. <laughs> It's one of those things I would buy like the $10 pair on Amazon and have fun with them for a summer. And then if they break or you accidentally drop them out of your car and then run over them or something, you're not gonna cry about it. You're not gonna be mad about it at all. <laughs> it's like a fun little trend to try. Big florals. Instead of big florals, it's not so much about the big florals right now. A little more current is gonna be the small florals or even geometric prints, bold colors, something like that. But these big florals, they just, they can tend to make people look dated. But I had this other shirt that I actually bought on Amazon just, just as an example of what not to wear. And you know, the shirt's okay, it's, it's fine, but it just, the big florals and the crochet sleeve and it doesn't even fit that well, it just, it just doesn't look good. It just kind of looks a little bit cheap. I'm here at the offending part, I'm sorry. It just, it's not really doing anything for me. Do you agree? Comment below. Another swap. Another Amazon top I bought, an example, um, I have this pink top. It's that really thin, stretchy fabric where you're probably gonna see lumps and bumps because it's not made of anything very high quality. It's got the cold shoulder, and I know there are people out there who love cold shoulder, and I think that's great. If it works for you, I think you should keep doing it because shoulders are a really great thing to show off. But this particular style that we're looking at with just the little cold shoulder right there, the cheap fabric, and then the crisscross thing on the neck, which we were all wearing a few years ago, and again, it just, it looks very several years ago at this point. Maybe if the fabric was better, like if it was a better fabric or a cotton or something heavier, that would make it look better. It's one of those things, if you have a top like this, like with the crisscross kind of things like that, and you love wearing it, wear it, but I wouldn't necessarily go and buy any more. None of the major fashion houses are gonna be make, making this kind of thing anymore. It'd be Amazon or Walmart, where they're making things in bulk, making them inexpensively, and selling them to you for very cheap. Now, what would I wear instead? What would I swap this out with? Well, first of all, if you love these tops, but you're just kind of over them, I wouldn't throw them away. I would just, again, pack them up, put in the back of your closet, save for like a couple seasons down the road, pull them out and see if you still wanna wear them before you donate or consign them. Now, what I would wear instead 
if I were to go on Amazon shopping right now, what I would buy instead, and I actually bought one because it was really cute, not sure about the color, a more basic t-shirt without all the bells and whistles. There's no cold shoulder, there's no weird straps on the neck, there's no weird crochet, there's no crazy print, just something very basic. Again, I'm not crazy about this fabric. I just feel like this fabric is very inexpensive and it kind of shows every lump and bump that you have. I like cotton shirts or a cotton blend. I feel like those lay a lot better. So I would probably trade it out for something like that. Maybe a crew neck or a V-neck. Um, just something very traditional would look a lot better than these tops that have way too many details going on. Cutouts are another thing that's super big right now, but if it's cut out in a really cheap, thin fabric, it just starts not looking that great. So what did you think? Do you like my suggestions? Are you mad at me now? These are all just food for thought. You are not gonna be arrested for wearing any of these things. Ultimately, you have to wear what you love and feel good in. If you don't feel good in it, don't wear it. If you do feel good in it, wear it. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. How you feel in your clothes determines kind of how you're gonna look. A lot of times, if you feel great in something, even if it's out of style, you're gonna look great because of your confidence when you're wearing it. These videos are for fun. Hopefully they're helpful. Hopefully you got some ideas from it. Give Skillshare a try if you haven't already. There are literally so many cool courses on there that it just makes learning fun, you know? Anyway, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.